Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today, I wanted to tell you about something that's kind of weird. So I have like, um, I'm Wendy by the way, and I have this um, Etsy account, and I got this really weird message the other day, um, actually like yesterday, and um, it said it was Etsy support, basically, and um, it was going to shut my Etsy account down and had all this stuff in it. So I wanted to tell you about, this is obviously a scam and that's going around on Etsy. So I wanted to let you guys know about it. One, in case you guys have an Etsy shop and um, two, to inform any of your family and friends and make you guys aware of what's happening because I really didn't know um, what was happening or that this was even a thing. So um, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see um, exactly what I'm seeing and and um, then I'm going to like give you some tips on how you can stay safe and um, you can share it with other people how they can stay safe also. I think it's important to go over because again, like I had no idea this was happening. So I'm sure that there's other people out there that don't know that stuff like this is happening also. And I always thought Etsy was pretty safe when it comes to that kind of stuff. I used to sell on Facebook Marketplace a lot and it just got like scammers all the time like I got messages constantly when I sold on there more about just about you know people trying to scam you really people trying to go offline they're wanting your phone number oh they can't pay on Facebook just it was constant and I was having to block people all the time so I kind of figured that that wasn't worth it at all but Etsy I've never had any issues or problems or anything like that before um so this is pretty new for me and my shop isn't a big shop I've had probably um 850 sales something like that so it's not like it's a big shop or anything it's so i'm just a, a small business out there obviously they're after everybody i guess is what i'm saying um so anyway i'm going to share my screen with you oh and if you like what you're seeing it would help me out a lot if you'd subscribe to my channel so please subscribe now guys so here let me show you what i am seeing and let you know what um you can look for and some stuff that you can do when I got the email, this is exactly what it looked like. So basically it's saying the sales of my store are temporarily suspended and um, I need to complete verification. So I need to send them my email address. So obviously I've already moved this to spam. So you can see on the um, left hand side there that it says spam right now, but it was setting in the inbox. So that's one thing that I want you to know that when it comes to you like that, it will come in the inbox. And then it has where it has kind of a call to action here that I need to send them my email address so they can look at my shop and I can get um, it unsuspended. It doesn't really tell me why it was suspended for. It gives me nothing like that. And now I'm going to show you um, the next screen. So what it says. Okay, so this next screen tells what... Um, it, again, this is the second page of that. So what it says is that please send me your email address um, and you'll be sent a notification where I can complete a simple verification. I'm sure if I had done that, they would have wanted my, um, probably my password or something like that. My guess is that something like this, that their goal here is to get your password so they can change your account information and then they will get the money that you're making in your shop or maybe it's so they can copy your shop and pretend like they've got all this stuff and I don't really know what the end goal is here but that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Okay so I wanted to point out to a few things that you can look for basically how I know this is 100% not legit. So the first thing you can see where that red arrows pointing to it says manager bot manager spelled wrong so if this was from etsy they would not be spelling this word wrong that's really a clear sign that it is not from etsy is the misspelling another um, thing that you can look at for this kind of stuff to know that it is really a scam is it has a clear call to action. It wants you to do something and it wants you to do it now. It doesn't want you to think about it for a second. They have a call to action. There's something they want you to do and they want you to do it right away. And it's providing your email address. Etsy doesn't need your email address. They already have it. They don't need any of your contact information. Again, Etsy already has all your contact information. 
This is another thing to look forward to. So in this, you see that they have no picture there. The Etsy logo should be there and it should be completely 100% like it should look like it's from Etsy. So the Etsy logo should be there and it should be clear. It should, and Etsy wouldn't send you something anyway that says manager bot. So that's, that's another indication. It, you know, obviously we said that the manager spelled wrong, but that's another indication. There's no Etsy logo there. So that's clearly not from Etsy and it came um, in your regular inbox. So I didn't put an arrow here. Unfortunately, I should have, but you see on the, where it says messages, if you look under that, where I like have spam highlighted right now, you can see that if you go up, you'll see that there's something that says from Etsy. So if you click on that and it's not in that, then that means it is not from Etsy. Etsy doesn't send you anything to your inbox. It will clearly state there that it is from Etsy. Another thing too is it's um, my red arrow is over it right now, but if you click on the thing that says manager bot, so their actual name that they made up, that will um, take you to another screen. And right now, what I got was Etsy had already pretty much removed this person. So I got, sorry, member you're looking for does not exist. So Etsy realized that this was a scam and they've already taken away that. Now, if they haven't realized it's a scam yet, you will see that it looks like a, a person's kind of shop, like what you would say, like something that people would favorite. So these people favorited all this stuff or they're following all these accounts. So you'll see that this account was made very, very soon. There's no information listed, nothing favorited. There's literally nothing there that you could trace back to anybody or anything. There's no name there. There's absolutely nothing. So that's one other way that you know that this is a lot legitimate. So all of those are what are just stuff that you need to really look for and be aware of. I'm sure there's more scams out there. And if I get any other messages or any updates or anything like that, I will totally let you guys know, because again, this is, it's kind of frightening when you're an Etsy seller and you see something like this. All right, guys here, that's a breakdown of what, um, of kind of what you can do and, um, what, the message I got, what it looks like, and what I'm seeing. Uh, one thing that really occurs, there's a ton of stuff that really, really bothers me about this, but one thing that really bothers me about this is like, so I got that message and uh, realized that it's a scam, right? But then I got like a message, I don't know, not even like a hour later from someone that actually was wanting to buy something and they're wanting to place a, an order that had several things that was kind of a big order but, um, and they had their phone number in it. And so I was like, well, is this another scam? Should I be aware of this? Should I, is this something I should report as spam? It took me a while just to figure out, should I even message this person back? Should I not message them back? And it ended up being like a legitimate customer that bought the stuff that they were going to say they bought. It's just not someone that's used to using the platform. So they didn't know that you didn't put your phone number when you messaged a seller and that kind, that kinds of thing. And, um, so, but it made me think, oh my gosh, maybe this is a scam. So it made me really not trust anybody, which really stinks because that's not my nature. It's not kind of really the person that I am, but that's kind of how I guess you have to be with these days. But I hope this helped you guys out some, and um, I hope that you share it with other people that have um, an Etsy account or that's thinking about it, or even people that really buy from Etsy. You have to really beware out there. And I'm sure there's other, you know, scams and that kind of stuff that's going on. This can't be the only one. But again, it's really just sad that it makes you not trust people, other people buying stuff. It makes you not trust what's going on. So anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it, guys. And um, have a great rest of your day and happy hooking, everybody.